Hi guys, thanks for clicking play. Welcome to episode 45 of Bringing Back Brum, the biggest one of this season so far. We are away at Stoke City today in a relegation six-pointer. Run the intro. And today's game has an added incentive. I was offered a chance to take an interview with Stoke City. They've sacked Ronald Koeman, their manager, at this time. So I attended the meeting. Interesting one. It does give me the option to take over the managerial role at the end of the season, should I wish to do so. So that's an interesting little tidbit that might come up. When I get offered the job, obviously I don't know. I am the favourite for it. So it will be interesting to see how that comes. Again, I'm not looking to move on at the moment, but certainly at the end of the season, I think that will be the time to go. That being said, we look at this season and we have bought in the loan signing of Phil Foden from Manchester City on loan until the end of the season. I thought we needed another option in the middle of the park, preferably an attacking one, and Phil fits the bill quite nicely. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. And you can see also that he has already got off to a fairly good start. One appearance, one goal. You'll see who that was against shortly. And look in the sky. There is the flying pig. Birmingham City have won a game only in the FA Cup, but we have won a game of football. I had forgotten what it felt like. James Wilson put us in front after 26 minutes, and I thought it was the same old story. Lassard Martinez equalised for Newcastle. And he put them in front on on 58 minutes as well, only for Che Adams to do his Superman impression and come up with two goals in six minutes to send us through to the fourth round of the FA Cup. And you'll see who we're playing shortly. Naturally, we came back down to earth with a bump at the City of Manchester Stadium, or the Etihad Stadium, whatever you want to call it, against Manchester City, but by no means disgraced. As you can see, at one point, it was one each. Leroy Sane put Manchester City in front. Sergio Aguero had missed a penalty, or should I say Angus Gunn had saved it. It's a superb save, if I do say so myself. James Wilson equalised on the 72nd minute before Alexis Sanchez, boo, and Lumana Festa won the game for Manchester City, but by no means disgraced in a 3-1 defeat. We nearly saw the flying pig a second time, but alas, we were undone by two late goals by Burnley, James Wilson also missed a penalty, but Aidan Flint and Phil Foden with his first goal for Birmingham City gave us a 2-0 lead. Only for Benicophobia and Naki Wells to undo all of our good work. On the balance of play, a point was probably the right result, but it was so disappointing to concede two late goals. And the winless run goes on. And I said I would bring this back for the league table, and here it is. So AFC Wimbledon was the reward for beating Newcastle in the third round of the FA Cup but the results have seen us drop into the bottom three that's not because of Bournemouth's draw with Burnley we'd already dropped into the bottom three at that point and our goal difference is okay compared to the teams around us it could be better but obviously shipping however many goals we have done lately we've been shipping a lot of goals recently it has not helped us out and as you can see Stoke are one place above us and only goal difference keeps them out of the bottom three let's take a look at the match preview for today's game and taking a look at the match preview you can see that both sides are in dreadful form and I'll show you a little bit more in a second what that means we've actually won a game Stoke haven't but they're evens to win five to four I would am assuming that's going to be even so 11 to five for us so are the bookies hedging their bets I've got no idea I really don't know why I say all that. But the stat pack is interesting. So neither side has won in six or nine games respectively. So it's a very interesting stat from our perspective. When we've scored first, we haven't lost yet. I say yet. But when we've conceded first, we've only won the once. Stoke, again, are the same. But they've drawn more times when they've conceded first. So that's interesting. That's very interesting going into the game. Both sides 
as I say, awful in form. So it's either going to be a classic or an absolute bore fest. And this is how the two teams line up. So they start with Butland in goal, Lukchevich, Smalling, Wimmer, Martin Zindi, and Didi, Wilshire, boo, Shakiri, Bojan, and Sabai with Saito Berahino up front. And we start with Gunn in goal, Colin, Maguire, Flint, Brian, Keatonville, Noble, Foden, Adams, Barker, with James Wilson up front, Alex Rossi, who's on the bench. So this really is a relegation six-pointer. It's one we have to win, really. Realistically, if we are going to start digging ourselves out of the hole we have dropped ourselves in, it starts today. Sends the ball up for Barker. Looks for the cross. Keithton Valley's on the edge of the box. Che Adams is there. He scores. What a start. 20 seconds on the clock. That has got to be the fastest goal of the season from our perspective, so far at least. And it's the two Manchester City boys, or former Manchester City boys in Brandon Barker's case. Comes out to Keithenville, shifts it, Che Adams, bang! 1-0. It can now be boring for as long as it likes now. We have the goal. That's all that matters. Wilshire with the free kick, sends it into the box, headed away. Shakiri's on the edge of the box, close him down. Let him shoot, or he can shoot all he likes if he's going to hit it there. Indeedy. Bojan. Through to Berahino. And he has equalised. It's good football. And Fenners from Stoke. Can't argue with that. Wilshire at the heart of it, as you might expect. Bojan with the little ball in. Aiden Flint gets drawn out. Inside of Berahino. Finishing pretty well. Up against Martins Indy. Gets past him. Sends the ball into the box. James Wilson is there. Straight to Jack Butland. And that is half time, so a goal apiece in the first half. Not a lot happened after that. I'm just wondering whether we move Phil Foden up one. Let's try it, shall we? See what happens. Second half on the way. Maxine Collin with the throw into Foden. On to Adams. Keith and Vell. Keith and Vell with the shot blocked. Goal kick. Foden with the free kick. Sends it in. Che Adams is there. They scrambled in by Brandon Barker, of all people. Looked like it was an absolute melee. But Brandon Barker has got on to the end of it. It's a good free kick. Floated in. Che Adams should score. Heads it down. Brandon Barker slams it in. 2-1 Birmingham City. Joe Allen. Shakiri. Berahino. Berahino with a shot just wide. Time for a substitution. It's going to be a change to the front man. Alex Rossi is going to come on. Tackled by Keatonville. Uh-oh. He's going to get sent off. That makes things a bit more interesting. So forget what I've done with Brand uh, with Phil Foden. He's going to drop nicely back into centre midfield. He's going to do the support role. Noble's going to do the defending. We're just going to drop back. Just leave Alex all on his own up front. Because that is about all we can do four attacking players on the field. Here's Wilfred Boney into Joe Allen Bojan looking wide for Shakiri. Barker with the block though Shakiri again Allen into Bojan. Bojan with the shot tipped over by Gunn. Lechewski Allen with the shot Lechewski again sends it on Berahino heads it down. Shakiri with the shot saved by Gunn and, and finally cleared. But we're going to take Foden off and we're going to bring on Chekin and Doi. And you're both going to just sit there. The jet ski with the throw. Bojan. Into Allen. Allen with the shot. You can keep doing that as much as you like, Stoke City. Shakiri. And Boney saved by Gunn. Where was bloody Maxine Collin? Maxine Collin send that ball into the box. Alex Rossi should be underneath. Barker's at the far post. Rossi's there. Yes, it is. We're going to win a game of football. It is the simple pleasures in life. I encouraged him to cross it into the box because I knew that if not one got on the end of it, Brandon Barker does really well. Good save from Butland. Alex Rossi gobbles up those chances for breakfast. Birmingham City 
are actually going to win a Premier League game. I'm fairly confident to say that with three and a half minutes to go. Shakiri with the shot, saved by Angus Gunn. What a hero. And we are well over the added time. And that is it. Finally. After 10 league games without a win, Birmingham City have a W in the column. Thank goodness for that. But what does that do to the league table? Well, what does that do to the league table? That takes us up to the dizzy heights of 15th, which is as high as we've been since November, possibly October. But that is a vital three points for us. Sends us, as I say, up three places into 15th. Does the goal difference the world of good as well? We now have a better goal difference than Stoke. Better than Huddersfield. Not as good as Bournemouth. But you can't have everything, can you? Saints be praised. My God, we needed that. Terrific from the lads. I thought, like you probably did when Michael Keeftonvel got sent off. Bollocks. Was my first impression. But the boys not only clung on to the lead... They actually extended it. Alex Rossi with the goal in added time to finish the game off. Birmingham City upwardly mobile again after a difficult, difficult period. I mean, 10 games without a win in the league is not good. But the signs have been good lately. You know, we've started to pick up a few points uh, rather than getting battered each week. So I think the change in formation has helped. I think it's done the job that I desired it to do, which is all good. If you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and would like to do so, please hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when a video goes up on the channel. That was episode 45 of Bringing Back Brum. Birmingham City have won a game of football in the Premier League. It should be stressed because obviously we did have the win in the FA Cup. But we are back on the road. Back on the road to survival. Fingers crossed. Join me next time to see what happens. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.